Hello everyone. I hope you all are having a good day while watching this video. Myself Urja Saha. I'm a student of Electronics and Telecommunication Department of Sardar Patel Institute of Technology. Today we will be learning how clamp meter, LCR meter and linear variable differential transformer works. Let's begin with clamp meter. What is a clamp meter? Clamp meters are electrical test instruments utilized for measuring current without connection to a circuit in series. They can easily be used and operated to measure live conductors without causing damage or loss of power. In short, they are devices used for safe and convenient current measurement. Parts of clamp meter. The transformer clamps are placed around the wire whose current you have to measure. Clamp opening trigger is used to open and close the jaws. The power switch is the button used for switching the clamp meter on and off. Backlight button illuminates the LCD when pressed to allow the display to be read in the dark. Hold button holds the displayed value when pressed. The negative input terminal is where the grounding jack of the meter cable is joined and the input positive terminal is where the positive jack of the meter cable is joined. LCD display is used to show the measurements. Function rotary switch enables the user to select different measurement modes. Let's understand the working principle using this block diagram. In general, AC clamp meters operate on the principle of current transformer which is used to pick up magnetic flux generated as a result of current flowing through a conductor. Assuming a current flowing through a conductor to be primary current, you can obtain a current proportional to the primary current by electromagnetic induction from the secondary side of the transformer which is connected to a measuring circuit of the instrument. This permits you to take an AC reading on the digital display as illustrated by the block diagram. The formula given here can be used to calculate the current. Current to voltage conversion circuit converts the current to voltage. Rectifying circuit is used for rectification from AC to DC and there is this analog digital conversion circuit and the final output is obtained on the display. Applications of clamp meter. Clamp meters are used in places where there is high current consumption. It is used in industrial, commercial and residential electrical systems. It is also used in HVAC systems. It is used while conducting repairs and maintenances in big power plants and electrical systems. Let's see a demonstration video of how to use clamp, clamp meter of brand Lutron whose model number is DM6046. We are going to demonstrate how to measure various parameters that are given on the meter. Let's start with current. So to set it on current, we'll use this slider to set it on different limits. We'll set it on 200 amperes for our setup. This yellow button here is used to change the mode of the clamp meter. There's AC mode and there's DC mode, diode mode. So we'll press it like this to set it on AC. Now you just have to clamp it around the wire whose current you have to measure like this. There you go and the LCD will display the value of current that is going through that wire. We have connected a lamp load to show you the increase in current as the load is increased. We'll start increasing the load. As you can see the current has increased from 0.2 to 0.7. Here's another reading, 2.1 amperes. So that's how you can measure current without any direct contact with the live wire. Now we are measuring the resistance using the clamp meter. Note that you have to keep the yellow button like this 
to set it on resistance or DC mode and we'll be connecting these probes across the resistor to measure its resistance it is quite visible that these colors indicate the value of 1 kilo ohms of resistance and the meter is also showing the same yeah so that's another use of clamp meter measuring resistance voltage measurement using clamp meter is supposed to be done by using these probes the red one is connected to the voltage terminal and the black one is supposed to be connected to the common terminal you will have to set it on voltage parameter using this slider depending on your setup you can set it on various limits uh, we have set it on 600 volts because our setup will not go beyond that now we are putting the probes in the socket of the board which should show somewhere near 200 volts yeah it's showing 230 so LCR meter L stands for inductance and C stands for capacitance and R stands for resistance LCR meter is used for electronic testing of equipment to measure the inductance capacitance and resistance of electronic circuit let's see the parts of the meter this is the display of the meter this is the auto test button you can press it to set it on L R or C if you press it for more than two seconds it will be on auto detect mode this is the calibration button this is the frequency test button this is the series or parallel configuration button this is the maximum or minimum button this is the five wire terminal but this is the two wire terminal in these two terminals the probes are connected like this and the component whose value has to be measured is connected like this let's understand the working principle using this block diagram the significant component of LCR meter is the Wheatstone bridge and RC ratio arm circuits the component whose value is to be measured is connected in one of the arms of the bridge there are different provisions for the different type of measurements for example if the value of resistance is to be measured then Wheatstone bridge comes into picture while the value of inductance and capacitance can be measured by comparing it with standard capacitor present in RC ratio arm circuit the bridge is adjusted in null position in order to balance it completely besides the sensitivity of the meter should also be adjusted along with balancing of the bridge the output from the bridge is fed to the emitter follower circuit and the output from the emitter follower circuit is given as an input to the detector amplifier the significance of detector amplifier can be understood by the fact that if the measuring signal is low in magnitude it will not be able to move the indicator of PMMC meter thus in order to achieve the sustainable indication we need to have a high magnitude measuring signal but it is often observed that while dealing with the measurement process the magnitude of measuring signal falls down due to attenuation factor the solution to this problem is to utilize an amplifier the rectifier is used in the circuit to convert AC signal into DC signal when the bridge is provided with AC excitation then at the output end of the bridge the AC signal needs transformation into DC signal the final output can be obtained at the front panel of meter of providing AC excitation oscillator circuit is provided in the input LVDT linear variable differential transformer LVDT is a transducer 
what is a transducer transducers are used to convert one quantity to another quantity lvdt is a transducer which converts mechanical quantity to electrical quantity like current voltage or electrical signal let's see the working principle and parts of lvdt Here we have a picture of LBDT module used in experimental labs. This is the primary and secondary terminals which is connected to the digital LBDTs primary and secondary terminals. This this is the winding of LBDT and this is the core which is movable. this is the scale which can be used to measure the displacement of core and these output terminals are connected to the dmm and the displacement result will be shown in voltage parameter in on the display of dmm the primary coil corresponds to the primary of this and secondary coils correspond to the secondary of lvdt V in is the input voltage which is given to the primary coil and through magnetic induction the emf is in induced in the secondary coils and the difference of coil 1 and coil 2 is given in V out if the core is displaced like this then the primary in emf will be induced in half of secondary therefore v out will be less or more than the v in the difference will correspond to the displacement of core that's how you measure displacement in terms of voltage let's see the block diagram of lvdt the input displacement is converted into the ac signal using lvdt then bridge rectifier rectifies the ac to dc then signal conditioning circuit amplifies the dc signal and then that is given to the adc converter which will be given to a051 and then the output is displayed on the lcd let's see the applications of lvdt it is used in measuring vibrations in actuators brake pedals and stress testing instruments thank you for listening so far and being so patient